Hi, I'm John Ellis. I run an optical engineering company outside of Boston, Massachusetts. And today I'm going to talk about seven steps to getting a good start on your custom imaging lens design. This is a process that we go through when we first meet a new client. And hopefully it will be helpful to people who are thinking about designing a lens, whether it's with an outsourced uh, optical engineering company or just working with people inside your own firm um, and talking to an optical engineer to help you design the best possible lens. So the basic parts of an imaging system that you need to consider are first the source of light that is lighting the scene, the type of illumination. Second thing you need to consider is the object that you're looking at. Um, third thing is the imaging optics that are used, the uh, lenses or mirrors. And the fourth thing is uh, how the image should appear uh, on the sensor or at your eye. With that as a background, the first question that we ask when we talk to somebody new is what is it that we're collecting an image of? How close is it? How far away is it? What is the smallest feature that you want to take a picture of? Is it in meters, microns? Um, how big of an area are we taking a picture of? Uh, is it uh, a one centimeter square area that's uh, a foot away? Or is it uh, you know, a 10, 10 meter area that's uh, 10 meters away? Uh, and is the object itself uh, opaque, translucent, fluorescent? Those are the kinds of questions that we ask. And with all of these slides, you may not have an answer or you may not be important to you or maybe you say as good as possible. And those are all acceptable answers. Um, but I just want to get you thinking about you know, the kinds of things that the optical engineer is going to be asking you. Question two is some more details about the lens. Is this a lens that has fixed focus? Is the focus variable? Does the lens need to zoom? Is the zoom mechanical or electronic? Does the lens have magnification? Uh, when we're collecting the image, is there a depth of field uh, within which you want objects to be in focus? The third question that we talk about is what is collecting the image? Uh, is it the human eye? Is it a camera sensor? If it's a camera sensor, what are the requirements of that camera sensor? Uh, sensors can have different sizes, different pixel counts, and all these will have a big impact on the kinds of lenses that are put in front of the sensor or put in front of the human eye. Fourth issue that you should prepare yourself for are any mechanical limitations. Uh, it very often happens that people are space constrained. Um, they only have space for a certain number of elements, a certain size. Uh, and that can have a big impact on how the optical system performs and the quality of the lens. Also, how the lens is positioned relative to uh, the area that you're looking at. Sometimes it can be at an angle or off to the side. That also changes the kind of design that uh, is used. Fifth question we talk to people about is uh, the lighting of the scene. Um, are we collecting an image in white light? Is there a particular wavelength range that you're illuminating your target and you're only collecting uh, uh, light in a particular wavelength range? Uh, in your system, do you care about chromatic aberrations, meaning uh, some fringing in color looks a little different because of the uh, way that light is moving through the lens elements? Uh, if you are making your own custom lighting, uh, do you have a data sheet on the light source? What an optical engineer does as part of their job is ray tracing and that means tracing hundreds of thousands and millions of rays of light as they come off a light source as they hit an object as they come back from the object and come to your camera sensor so we like to know you know as much data as possible about that light source uh, next issue that you need to think about uh, and has big implications for how the design is made are some business questions one question is what kind of volume are you expecting to, to do with this lens? Is it in the tens or is it in the millions? And that will impact the materials that are used, glass or plastic. Uh, it'll in impact uh, tolerances that are acceptable. Um, another issue to consider is the budget available. If you only have a few hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, you know, two thousand dollars, then probably a custom lens isn't the right solution for you. You probably need to be looking for off-the-shelf systems. Um, another business question that we run into is, is the timeline. Uh, a custom lens can take a long time to manufacture, can be 10 to 12 weeks, um, but there are ways to make custom systems uh, a little faster than that. One example would be 
is if you select custom lens or, or off-the-shelf lens elements and assemble them uh, in a custom a package, so several off-the-shelf lens elements, um, and put them in a custom package, you have less flexibility in your design, but it tends to be quicker than making your own lens elements. Final question we talk to about uh, with clients is, is to try to get a sketch. And a sketch can be important to just reiterate the uh, six questions that I, I just spoke about, but also to make sure that we're all on the same page about what is up, what is down, what is front, uh, and the definition of everything. So those are the basic things that we ask when we start a project and when you're starting your project and talking to your optics person these are the things you should think about and I'll say one more time that it's, you don't have to have an answer to all these things. Um, maybe some of them aren't relevant, maybe some of them you don't know and you want the optical engineer to tell you what's possible, that's all okay. Um, but the seven key things are what are we collecting the image of, how big is it, what does it look like, what are the parameters of the lens, does it zoom, does it magnify, Tell us about the image sensor, if there is a sensor or if it's the human eye, any mechanical constraints or considerations, uh, the lighting environment, business issues like the timeline and the uh, production volume of the lens, and finally a sketch of the system. So that's what we do uh, every day at our company. We've been around for 10 years. We've done designs for startups and Fortune 100 companies, including some of the most uh, high-profile systems that you, you see uh, every day on, uh, on TV and in, in tech, tech news. So uh, please drop us a line. We're happy to uh, uh, take any questions and uh, look forward to helping you out if we can. And if we're not working with you, good luck on your project, whatever it may be. Thanks and have a great day.